What's happening guys, it's Sir Wim, and today I'm in Woodland, California at the home of four-wheel pop-up campers and what I believe to be the ultimate overlanding setup. So I got the opportunity to take the four-wheel pop-up camper Hawk model out on a journey through in and around Death Valley through all kinds of different conditions. The video is Sir William Goes to Death Valley. But today I wanna to take you through the factory and show you how the various different models of four-wheel pop-up campers are made. It's an awesome process. It starts and ends right here in Woodland, California. So this is how it starts. Nothing, just a bunch of raw materials. So take me through the process a little bit. From here, where are we gonna go? Once all this gets all cut out, we go into the welding area. Okay. Now in the welding area, they've got these jigs and they put all that stuff right there on those jigs. Yep. And then they start blasting it together like that. That's pretty cool. Once everything's jigged up, all the frames are all built together. And this is how we're going to get the bins in it. That's correct. That's the, the roof front bend there. Nice. You see one side here, one side there. Nice. And once these, uh, once the sides get put together and then the back's on, this gentleman's doing a back right now. Okay, so that's the very back of it. That's correct. Same thing. It's going to go across these jigs right here, and these guys are going to put them all together, yeah. weld them all up. And they got their drawings here so they know where they, where they go from there. Guys, these things are 100% custom. So that being said, that means that whenever you order it, you design it how you want it. And with it comes this little pack and it travels through the whole entire process with them. So show me one of those packs. On and this is called a rider, right? A uh, traveler. A traveler, okay. Yeah, that's right. And basically it's gonna go through all the different options that was ordered on this particular one. Yeah. And that's going to travel with the entire camper the whole way through this entire assembly line. Yep. Now right here, they're getting the, the base plate put on. This is the part that is actually going into the back of the truck. You have the front and the back already here. They start to assemble the floor pack. Uh, once the floor is put on, then they uh, get that tied in to start doing the sides. Upside down right here to get the floor on. They flip it back over right here. Yeah. Do the final touches to the roof, to the, the long roof part portion. Once that roof is bent in and uh, centered out together. Okay, so they still got to bend this out. Yeah, they'll bend this here. Okay. Using these jigs right here. Ah, okay. All right, so that's how the bend gets put in there. So now these are the completed ones. They started out as the raw metal. As you can see, now it's starting to take shape. This actually looks like a camper, right? Absolutely. Now from here, we're going to start putting the other stuff on like the insulation in the walls. I literally fill anything that's not filled with a window with insulation. So once the insulation gets put in, then it gets wrapped in the siding. And the siding starts out right here, again, just as raw material and what other co whatever color that you wanted. And then you have the interior siding, which is this board right here. And now as you can see too, they're starting to do, the wiring comes in at this point. So let's take a look at how that wiring's put together. So this is where all the harnesses are made. Every camper obviously gets electric uh, electricity and all the harnesses are pre-wired and pre-made. Once they get all the wiring taken care of, they move over here and they get to the cabinets. Now again, each of these cabinet setups, they're gonna be specific to however the customer wanted. That cabinetry starts over here in the wood shop area. This is the wood shop area. These guys know that I put together something similar in my truck. When I say it's something similar, it just means that it's made out of wood. That's it. Because it looks like a Dr. Seuss drawing. Speaking of Dr. Seuss drawings. Yeah. You know, you got the whole cut out here. This is called the base board. So all of our uh, wood's gonna be laid up on that to be cut predetermined your camper number right on it we're going to get the sets together so that yeah. makes the straight lines a whole lot easier when you got a cnc machine yeah. now they take all the pre-cut pieces and they put them together all kinds of people working here and, and what's so crazy is this like through all the mayhem everybody knows exactly what they need to yeah. do a lot of people have been here over 10 years so it, uh, it really works out so once they get them all assembled and 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 done then it gets put on this little rig here and from there, they start to put it inside this completed piece. Mm -hmm. Then you start dropping in all your cabinetry. That's when you start dropping it in. You have your water tanks dropped in at this point. And, and now all of them get the same size water tank, or can you pick and choose? You get just two different sizes. There's like a 19 and a half and a 20 gallon. Now we've taken the frame, we've got the cabinets in, we're plumbing up the wiring. What's next? Once, once, uh, once all the cabinetry is finished putting in, now nice. you're really, you 
really got your skeleton here and you start filling it in with all the uh, water pump, all your uh, battery relays, anything that you, any kind of the options that you got in here is, um, is put in at this stage. And it's whatever you want gets put in right here. So if you wanted, you know, a bigger fridge, then it gets put in, it starts to get wired up and put in here. And these guys just kind of roll around each one and they know exactly what they need to do on yeah. each one, which is the craziest thing to me. It's like a well yeah, so now they put my window in. Yep, all your windows are on. Your trim rings are all set up. Make sure everything looks nice and square. And then on the inside, you can see it's starting to come together. Now, this one's just a different setup than what we've yeah, seen the others. Yeah, a different setup, a lot less options on this guy. Right here. Yeah, so this guy here is just getting the sink, and that's it. He decided not to go with all the other stuff, which, hey man, different stores for different folks. I kind of like that. Now, this one's bare. Yeah, so this will be a fleet shell. Okay. So this means that pretty much what you're gonna get is your basic camper. The That's whole, all you need. Yeah, almost nothing's gonna go into this. There's a little bit of electricity here on one of their options, but for the most part, yeah, they're gonna go bare bones and then you can add on to it. So for all own. you guys that wanna build your own, this is it right here. You get the shell model and then you can set it up however you want. If you don't like what they're using, you wanna put something different in it, here you go, right here. The fleet shell. That's a cool option. But you're still gonna have the Queen King slide out. Yep, exactly. Now over here, this is uh, another fleet. Yeah, this is another fleet, but this is uh, not a shell model. No, they're getting the full gamut here. They're getting the sink, they're getting the, the heaters, they're getting the pumps, they're getting the fridge. Yep. I mean, the stove, I mean, they're getting it all, right? Exactly. Yep. Yeah. And they're even getting a couch. Yeah, the I like that. Yep. Yeah, that's my style right here. Yeah, exactly. That's what we mean, huh? And you can order it like this one here. My Hawk didn't have that side window, right? But this one does. Yep, you can do different window configurations and all. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to get one of these and open up a taco business and just start selling tacos right out of here. Now this is a flatbed model. This is a flatbed. Yep. And now they're doing, and this is part of the final, like the quality stuff here. This is Correct. we're getting down towards the end of the the whole deal, right? Yep. We're putting uh, water through the entire system to make sure that water is uh, adequately not leaking or anything. Uh, we're running electricity to it to make sure all the lights are coming on and off like they should be. So we're getting down to the final steps now. This is the flatbed model, but it's yep. basically the same. Even the, this guy's kind of doing the same thing, right? Right, yeah. This one also will yeah. we'll be running the uh, test systems for all this also. Trimming it up. Yep, we're adding, a, adding in all the final trim. This is after the, the sideliner's been put on. All right, so once you get over here, you notice that they're starting to put the roofs on too. Let's take a look at how the roof's All right, so they're, they're welding it down there where we started at, out of that bare metal. They set them right here. Once you get the roof set right here, moves over to these guys on this table where they start adding up all the insulation, yep. cutting out the vinyl for the windows, or cutting out the vinyl for the headliner. Yep. And then all your batten strips. Now we've flipped on. it over. Yep, all your batten strips put on, your roof your roof's on the very bottom. Your skin's getting put on the bottom. That's right. Uh, and then also you, you're starting to get your, your running lights. My little touch lights there. Touch yep. Lights the there. Your fans getting cut in right yeah. here. And then if you want to flip over to here, you got their... Uh, their now they're testing and, it. Yep, testing the electricity. Making sure everything's good. Yep, you got your folding panels which are assembled. They're, they're assembled right behind you here. Yeah, and so the folding panels is kind of what the key to this whole thing is, right? And so these folding panels get cut out of this... Uh, it, it's like a... I don't know what what kind of material would you call this? Call space age material. Space age That's material. Right. Yeah. So it's a top secret super formula saucy uh, material that gets cut by a CNC machine. And then this gentleman over here is putting it all together. Now they used to do these by hand. They've upgraded so now they can get a few more out per week. But now these hinges here are going to help the whole thing come together. That's right. And they get assembled on this table. Yeah, that's right. Come out once, they are once they're assembled, they look just like this. Then the roof is stocked right here. So now, once the roof is complete, they hang it out right here. As you can see, this is the whole thing's put together. It's going to get put on right down this line. That's correct. Now, this is the cool part too. As you can see right here, they've got stored up what looks to be the fabric, right? Yeah. This comes from the upholstery department. Let's go take a look at that. So this is the seats and the bed and everything like that. And that gets put together by her down there at the end. All that fabric comes from one place. And that's the upholstery department, which is where we're going to so now. It, this is how it all starts right here. This is right. how the whole outer pop-up shell, basically, it all starts. Now that's a thermal pack. Correct. Yes. Uh, but the, the vinyl gets cut here. 
the thermal pack gets cut here, the window gets cut here, everything gets cut right here off of these rolls. Right, and then that's awesome. Cutting and selling. So nice. Easy. So everything gets put together here. My Velcro is getting put on. Yep. The two pieces are getting mated together. It looks like this is a thermal, yeah, right? Are, this is the thermal, thermal insulation. Right now. Once it gets sewn up, then they hang it up right here. So all those materials that we got to see that were all the options, this is where all that stuff gets cut and puts onto that foam that we saw outside. From there, it's brought down into the staging area right here. All right, so here we are at the final line of defense, right? This is, this is where, you know, after this, the next stop is going to be installation on a truck, which you see going on right here. So right here, they come along here. They make sure that all my trimming's good. They make sure that all the decals are on. They make sure that the roof is functioning. They've already made sure that all the wiring and all the plumbing is all working. She's going through with literally a fine tooth comb and a flashlight to make sure that everything is perfect here. Right, so now, once everything's completed, the last step of the process is to find out what the actual weight is. So they're gonna put it up here to find out what the actual weight is. Depending on how you had yours ordered, that's gonna depend the weight. So it really depends. There is no set weight for these things. There's kind of a roundabout. They start under a thousand pounds and kind of go up depending on how you order. Once this thing gets done, it gets staged up right here where they're gonna take this, they're gonna put it on this trailer, and they're gonna haul five at a time to all over the United States. And you can get one of these from a local dealer. If you just go online to the website below, take a look and you can see where your local dealer is, that's where these are going. As soon as you get yours ordered, that's where it's at. It's hot -a. Now you're getting it put onto the truck. That's a brand new truck. Yep. With a brand new house on the back of that thing. That's right, he's ready to Looking go. good, man, looking good. Now that's the Granby, that's the big boy, huh? Yep, that's right. And he's ready yeah. to park that thing anywhere and make home wherever he parks it. Cool, so I'm here with Mike and we're inside the showroom here at Four Wheel Pop-Up Campers. And we're gonna go over kind of the process of how somebody gets started. So I'm riding down the road, I see one of these bad boys on the back of the truck and I decide, okay, I want one. What's the next step? What do I do from here? Well, people will they'll look up our phone number or our website, the, the URL is on the back of the door of the campers. Some of the older campers have the phone number, so they'll reach out to us. Okay, way. cool. And then whenever they reach out, now I understand that you've got the dealer network all across the United States, so it's very possible that on the website that they can just find their dealer. Now, whenever they get to the dealer, whether or not their dealer is you guys directly or an independent dealer, they have a list of different options and stuff that they can go through. And they essentially design the camper from the ground up. And at that point is whenever it gets built. But take me through some of the different options that they have whenever they So yeah, they, we do a semi-custom build that's from a list of options that we have. And that can be an awning or a water heater with an outside shower or a powered vent fan or a solar system and a whole bunch more options. So they call up, hey Mike, I wanna check out this camper and I want you to give me a quote for this camper that'll fit a 2016 Tacoma or a 2016 Colorado or a full-size truck, Chevrolet, Ford, Dodge, Titan, Tundra, etc." So we say, okay, this is the Hawk, it fits a full-size short bed truck, or this is the Fleet, it fits that Colorado, it fits that Tacoma. Then we will do a quote, hey, okay, Campers come standard with a rollover couch in there. Or, hey, do you want a shelf? We go with shelf room. So it starts there, and there's that huge, big list of options. Of different options. And we saw that when we go through the factory um, tour. Yes. You have to see the, the rider that kind of rides, which is really neat. Now, so realistically, where it starts then is actually with the customer's truck. With the pickup truck. Yeah, yes. and yes. depending on the truck I have, will be dependent on the model that I have, right? Yes. And you have now for a small truck, something like a Toyota Tacoma or a Colorado or even the new Ranger out, um, something like that. What, what model would I get for that? So a new Ford Ranger, which is a six foot truck bed or Colorado six foot truck bed, Tacoma six foot truck bed, Nissan Frontier. That is a fleet model. And it okay. could be a fully built fleet or a fleet shell. Okay, and the shell model basically is like that one that we saw out on the factory floor where it is, it's just the shell. This is for the guy that wants to get all his own goodies and yes. all yeah. his own stuff on there. And also the cost effective guy too, right? Yes. So you're just gonna get the queen size bed with that that folds out and that's basically it, right? Yeah. All your wiring and everything. Yes, uh, shell comes standard with an over the cap bed whether it's the Fleet Shell or a Hawk Shell, Grammy Shell, Raven Shell, depending on your truck again for the size. And then you can add a heater, you could add a fan, you can add solar, you could add seating, which is a rollover couch or side dinette. 
Nice. So in essence, it, it's basically where you guys want to go. Now, tell me, where did these things start at? Uh, the shell started at 11,000 or 10,995, a fully built Fleet Hawk Grammy. They started at between 18,995 and a little over 19,000 for the long bed model Grammy. Realistically, for about the same price as I'm spending on an overlanding trailer or an off-road trailer, then I can get something and just carry it in the back of my truck with a whole lot less maintenance. Yes, right? for, for all of us that already own trucks or have owned trucks all our lives, or maybe we don't own a truck, but we want this vehicle that can go anywhere, we take them and wherever your fully equipped four-wheel drive truck will take you is where this camper can go. It's some more extreme than us. <laughs> yeah. Listen, Mike, I really appreciate you taking us around and showing us around. And uh, if you guys want to get any more information, like frequently asked questions, some more specifications or anything like that, visit the website down below. Come into your local dealer. Take a look at the showroom. If you're in the Woodland area, come by the dealership. They just got a brand new showroom that they're really proud of. It's really neat. You can do a walkthrough of all the different models. And I'm sure somebody can take them on a tour of, of how everything's built, right? Yes, I'm here. My name is Mike Olds. I'm a factory rep. I also do all the dealer sales. I support all my dealers. You can call me with any questions or go directly to our dealers. My email's on the website as well and my direct phone number. So be more than willing to call me. Thank cool. you. That's awesome. Thanks, Mike. Thank we appreciate it.